open this bad boy up. And while we're here, because I should have done it last time. Oh, don't tell me Mr. X is showing the fuck up right now. Combine. Combine? Why do I keep doing that use? So you can move all three of these at once. So I'm gonna grab this. I believe that's connected now. It is. But before we go through there, I want to head over here. Because now we have that spare key. And wait, I'm heading the wrong way. We have that spare key. In which I will now use to go grab that that stuff. Oh. Marvin, your time has come, my buddy. This is out of respect. Gotta put you down like a man. I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. Alright. I believe Mr. X totally heard me do that. Okay. Oh, I hear him. Oh, I hear him. <laughs> I hear him coming. He's gonna get me. So what is it? Is it 302? My bad. 302? I just put 330. What is wrong with me? 302. Is that it? No. Then it's 203. Fuck. Okay. Good. Now with that, we can pick this up. Awesome. And now, we can head on over to... <gasps> oh, I did something stupid. I did something really stupid. We gotta head back to the stars room. Oh. Oh. He... Is he upstairs or is he right outside? Oh, I hear something. Where is he? <gasps> is that him right there? No, that's a that's a bus. He was in this room. He was in this room. I don't know where he went. But he was in here. I think he went down the hallway with all the windows and shit. That's probably where he went. I really hope. So, this is exactly where we need to go right now. Mm, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep opening that fucking door? I keep thinking the star's room is on the third floor. It's not. It's on the second floor. Fuck. So I need to head back to the stars room because I'm stupid and out of my excitement for everything, I fucking totally forgot to pick this shit back up. You want to pick this up. That is literally made... <laughs> they literally make it like that so you forget it. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes, man. Seriously. And then you don't really need to be USB anymore. So Now we're going to head back to the library. Library. Because library is not how you say it. The library. Br Brayuary. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I completely want a stupid way. I want a stupid way. I want a stupid way. Oh, you're mad. Look at you. Look how mad you are. Bye, bitch. So he will chase us. Is there... Nope. There's no bullets behind us. Alright. So what you want to do... Is you want to hug this wall to this side. Because if you don't... This guy right here... Will yank you up. So you just want to... Run in here. Mr. X will not follow you in here. And you are... All good and gravy. For now at least. Where's the small gear? It's over here, right? Yeah. 
No, it's not. Where the fuck is the small gear? Where's that little bitch at? Is it upstairs? It might be upstairs. It might be upstairs. Okay. Anyways, take this big gear. Put it here. It's beautiful. Then you want to take the big gear out. And you want to run over here. Go upstairs. Small gear should be up here. What the fuck was that noise? It made like a squishing noise. I don't know what the hell that was. Over here. Yeah, there you go. That's a small gear. So then you want to put the big gear here. Uh, is there a doorway up here? No, it's not. Alright. What is that fucking noise? You heard that. It sounded like something hit a fucking piece of metal or something. So, before we put that small gear in, I want to head through, through here. Now, I'm not sure if the liquor that is on the third floor will be over here if you didn't kill it. So, I'm going to walk real slowly because there's a lot of windows here. And this is a long-ass hallway. You want to make sure you pick that up. Yeah, no. I don't think the liquor shows up. Alright, cool. We're good. Want to pick that bad boy up, and then we're gonna fix this clock tower. Clock tower. Imagine if they remade the clock tower games. Why did I put so much evidence on that? I said clock. Imagine if they remade the clock tower games. That'd be crazy. I would buy it in a heartbeat. They will never remake Clock Tower, ever. Is Clock Tower owned by Konami? Evil ass Konami? Cool. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. <laughs> oh, Leon, you're so hilarious. No, you're not. You're, you're not hilarious at all. So now, we have the other one and once we open this door we still have those two sand bambos to deal with so i want to open this pick this up now i don't know come on come on i need you to turn i need well whatever you go that way for some reason i don't know why don't know where the second one went i'm not thinking about it Mr. X, you better be downstairs. You better not be in this room. Over here is where this guy would jump you, but since we dealt with him, and there he is, we now don't need to worry about that. And with that, we have everything we need to go and make our way out of here through the um, parking garage. And I believe we picked up everything that we could pick up at this point in the game. So. Where am I going? We head downstairs. There we go. Alright. Don't forget that we still have Mr no legs over here I need to bait him somehow because I want to get past him think that's enough room to get past him I think that's enough room. yep I was 100% right about it all right and now that that's boarded up he doesn't come crashing through and for some reason, they never go to this window or to the far one over there. So, you're good. We're good. I'm good. 
I love this game. Alright. Wow, we didn't even need... Am I still at caution or am I at fine? What did I get to fine? Uh, Lightning Hawk. There's really no reason for us to carry... It. Well, now there is a reason for us to carry it on us. But for this whole entire section, there's really is no reason to carry it on. I'm going to store that. I'm going to store this. Don't need it right now. I'm going to grab these. I'm going to store that. And I believe that is everything I want to take with me right now. Yep, that is everything I want to take just to make life easier. Just in case, reload this bad boy. Alright. And yeah, we are good. Don't forget to save your game. And just like that, we will now make our way back downstairs. So that we may escape. Now, don't forget that we still have these dogs down here that I completely didn't deal with. And I believe for the whole entire game, this is the only section where dogs for Leon are present. At least in Leon scenario A. So, gotta outrun these dogs. Gotta hype myself up. <sighs> gotta hype myself up because we gotta run past... We gotta run past like two rooms with nothing but dogs. Bow. Look at him. Plotting. Just gonna serpentine. Because they attack in a straight pattern, so chances are you have a 50 50 shot. Look at these motherfuckers. There's three of them. Now, some people say these are the three that were in the cage. See? That's why you certain. That's why you surf and turf. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Little bitches. That's why you surf and turf. Because they can't fucking touch you. Look at that motion blur. Mm, it's beautiful. Right? So. Yeah, some people say that that's the three dogs that were in the kettle. Right? And if you kill them, they won't be out there. That's a complete lie. Those are not the three dogs. I've tried it multiple times. <laughs> so. Now that we have. Now that we have these two electrical parts that we need. Just open the boxes. And that satisfying new electronic smell. And then just slot those in. And now for the most confusing puzzle in the game for me because I still don't know how this works. But all I know is I foible around a bit. If I foible around a bit, it just all seems to work for some reason. There's that, and then, my bad. Hmm. I do not. <laughs> yeah, so there's this. Sorry. This is the most stupidest puzzle in the damn game. Hmm. I'm really having a hard time with this. Holy shit. This is like... This is the most difficulty I ever had with this. I could have sworn you were supposed to connect it here or something. Hmm.
There you go. And then do this. There you go. All right, cool. Now, most importantly, you want to pick up this first aid spray over here. Ben's memo. The station is swarming with monsters. Even here, I can even here I can hear the cries. But it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codenamed Tyrant, the ultimate bioweapon. The ultimate bioweapon. Developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. To think that that thing might be wandering around here? Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Yep. So that's why Mr. X is here. His real name is Tyrant. It's not Mr. X. Can canonical name is Tyrant. Mr. X is something that the fans lashed onto because that's what they named him in his toy line. And this is just a transcript of what they're talking about. So we get the parking permit. Hmm. And just like that, we can make our way out. What are they after? But someone's That's an asshole and they decided to do this. So, you want to wait for some of these zombies to hobble over here. Over here, you have this guy. Give me a break. This room is designed. For you to squeeze on through. Yeah, that's right, you missed. Bitch. What's up? And if you had that one guy in your way, why are you here? You're not supposed to be. Move. Oh my god, you see that grab? I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Nothing dies down here. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get her. <laughs> I. That's such a weird you fucking like interaction, sure. right? It's like, this is getting old. That's twice I saved your ass. Man, I didn't know you we were keeping count. This isn't a game. It's like, but you're sitting here keeping count. <laughs> Motherfucker, I almost got choked out. Alright, just like that, we are out of the fucking police station, finally. the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Hmm. Trying to save the world? I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. Exactly. I told him I'll bring help. With what? Who here is going to help you? And even who here is going to help you fucking <laughs> by the time they get here who are they going to save 
Rose look at that. Out. Look at that fucking propaganda. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. But it's like, umbrella. Like, I love this scenery. Because you're looking around right now and the whole city is destroyed. Meanwhile, the bulletin board is like, umbrella, here to make your city better. It's like, what? <laughs> you lying motherfuckers. What a mess. Alright. Now that we've made it to the gun store, Kendo's gun store, which is usually the first place you go to. I say usually, it is the first place you go to in the original game. So you want to pick up that. You want to pick up a grenade that's in a fucking gun store for some reason. Didn't know you can sell grenades in a gun store. That's crazy. By the way, the stock that we just put on carries four bullets in it. And it also makes your shotgun more powerful. It's beautiful. Right. Uh, and then their handgun bullets over here. So, while she always are foibling around, I want to see something. I want to check something. I want to know, because we're not getting chased by those zombies anymore, and there's really no reason for us to ever go back there. I want to know if that cutscene triggers it so that it eliminates all the zombies in that room, because my knife is back there, and I would like to get my knife back if I can. And if I can't, then oh well, I have like three more. <laughs> And it takes me forever to use a knife. Because I know this cutscene, because the cutscene has to play out and Ada has to walk around. Ada can't be with you when you're fighting things. Nope, I hear the zombies. But they will definitely not follow us past an area because Ada's out there. Oh, this is locked. Oh, this is going to be locked forever. Okay. Alright. Well, that's interesting. By the way, if you check it, Tyrant, he's gone. I don't know where you went. Alright, so we're gonna run. We're gonna run our little 100 and, I don't know, 60 pounds? 100 and, probably 60. Leon's probably 160, right? 167, maybe? I, I assume he has a little bit of muscle on him has more muscle on him in four because he's literally kicking heads off of people. Well, so that knife is gone forever. That sucks. But look at the bright side. I'm alive. I'm, off. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You're gonna turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me that is like the the most. Drop it. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing you can say with anyone. No, wait. With a gun to your head. We need to terminate her before she turns. It's like, sir, your daughter looks unhealthy. It's like, motherfucker, I have a shotgun to your brain. Fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma. Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Yeah, Daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Privacy. You know, it 
It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here, and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the Force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. You are so full of shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, just knowing, just knowing the story of Resident Evil 2, the fact that Ada looks you dead in the eyes, well, maybe not dead in the eyes, she has sunglasses on, but like, she looks at you and she goes, My mission is to take out Umbrella's whole operation. Like, you're a fucking... You gotta be really fucking, like, cold-hearted <laughs> to just do that. Um, but yeah, a couple of things in that cutscene. If you look closely, you notice that Kendo's hands are, like, fucked up for some reason, so he's been through some shit. Another thing is, um, what is it? There is, I believe there's a document somewhere in this game that states, um, that states that children... Like, there are some children that have certain immunities to the G-Virus, so that's why his daughter is, like, this half-zombified creature, which is probably the worst thing ever, because, you know, you're not fully there. Um, and then, uh, what's the other thing? There's, like, a third thing. Oh, yeah, third thing is, like, you hear the gunshot, but you don't hear a second one. So, because you would assume that he would kill his daughter, then kill himself. But I believe Kendo is actually one of the playable characters in the DLC for Ghost Survivor for this game. I, I haven't played that DLC yet, but I believe he is one of the playable characters in there. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. Umbrella, bring that peace to your city. Definitely not making you kill your children. Did I just say Daphne? Wow, I meant to say definitely. Definitely. That Ugh, fuck, I can't even say it. Definitely. There you go. I'm going to bring her down. The way that voice line is delivered is so cut up. It's fucking weird. It's like, it's like she's unleashing the G virus. I'm going to bring her down. Like, like, she cuts off her own audio. It's fucking weird. Like, they couldn't make that better? This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. This isn't a game, Leon. This is serious. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into... Umbrella's secret facility. Did I? Come on. Did I pass? The sewers are run what? by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Oh, Leon, you're such a fucking boy scout. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. How how can they have a secret facility without the city knowing? It's isn't that isn't that crazy? Leon, we live in America. Come on. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Awesome. God only knows what's down here. Why you say it like that, Ada? You say it like you're in a fucking movie. Alright, so... We still have 24 bullets? Oh my god. We have so much fucking ammo, it's stupid. Alright. Cool. Now... We can save the game. And now that we completed uh, what I like to call the third portion of the game, we're going to head into the sewers on the next part of Resident Evil. Man, that went better than I expected, honestly, because I thought I would fuck a bunch of things up. The fact that I still have a full 
like a full eight shots and full 24 and then I got like a bunch of ammo up the ass it's crazy look at all that and how many fucking I have 58 bullets that's crazy would love to have 60 I have so many fucking flash grenades it's stupid alright but yeah that's gonna be it for this part of Resident Evil 2 um next time when you join me we will brave the sewers and I believe we should finish it maybe not well of course not in one part but like at least in that whole session that I'm playing I'm gonna finish it and hopefully we can beat this game before the end of October because that's what I want to do and uh man we are having a late start to October trust me I, I wanted to do this like way earlier but unfortunately a bunch of shit got in the way but hey I want to thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.